Hello everyone. Welcome to this introduction video for the School of Leadership Online Learning. The objectives of this video are to familiarize School of Leadership students with firstly features of online learning, secondly effective online learning experience, and what can you as a student expect in the online class. Let us begin by answering this question. How is an online class different from an on-site or face-to-face -face class? First of all, an online class, well, it's more flexible. You get to choose a time in the week when you are available. A face-to-face -face class tends to have a more rigid schedule for the class. Secondly, in an online class, it's self-directed. You, the student, needs to take the initiative. This means that an online class is great for students who are self-motivated and disciplined in their learning. The teacher is the one who directs the learning that takes place in a face-to-face -face class. Thirdly, an online class is driven by the textbook and other course materials. You will have to be comfortable with self-study and lots of reading. The teacher or instructor serves merely as a facilitator. In a face-to-face -face class, it's driven by lectures delivered by the teacher. Fourthly, the discussion in an online class is through written text. If you are used to communicating through email and online forums, you'll be fine in an online class, whereas discussions in a face-to-face -face class are done verbally. Fifthly, we learn in an online class you obviously need to be comfortable with technology. You also need to have easy access to a computer and the internet. In a face-to-face -face class, learning takes place in a physical classroom. Sixthly, in this online program, you'll be going through it as a cohort. In a face-to-face -face class, study is mostly done individually. Last and not least, in the online class, you will be interacting with students and faculty from many different cultures, backgrounds and experiences. In a face-to-face -face class, it's more localized to where you are taking the program. Now I've just listed seven differences. Let us now consider effective online learning experience, characteristics of successful online students. Be flexible, but willing to be able to commit to 10-15 hours of study per week. Be self-motivated and self-disciplined. Thirdly, you need to be at ease with lots of reading, critical thinking and collaboration as part of the learning process. You will also need to be adept at written communication. It is important that you are comfortable with technology and have access to computer and the internet. Last and not least, be open-minded about sharing life, work, ministry and leadership experiences for they all form part of the learning process in a broader setting. What can you as a student expect in an online class? How will I learn? Well, at the start of each week, you will access course materials for that week. Reading assignments, recorded lectures, class notes, and other materials. During the midweek, you will need to respond to discussion questions posted by the professors. Then there will be assessments due during the course, and it's a good idea to start working on assessments throughout the course. Written works such as research papers, reflection papers, book reports, Bible studies should all be completed as per due dates set in each course. Altogether, you probably need to take time about 12 to 15 hours per week. So how will I be assessed? You need to refer to the course syllabus for further details of assessment requirements, marks and percentages for each course. 
Well, next question. What's the duration and schedule like? Students go through the program as part of a cohort, moving from class to class through the sequential 36 credit curriculum. It begins each year with a one week compulsory on campus residency, followed by eight week long online courses for the rest of the year. The schedule is repeated for the second year. Kindly refer to the cohort schedule for full details. Now we come to the last question. How will I conduct research? Well, students will have access to physical and electronic resources. It includes online journals, ebook library, and other digital resources at TCA College Library and Live Pacific College Library. In other words, MACL students have the privilege of being able to assess the libraries of two institutions. Well, we have come to the end of this introduction. So are you ready for online learning? Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any other questions, do check with us at TCA College. God bless you.